Let's make science user-friendly. So as scientists, we want to discover new truths and share that truth with the world so the world can get smarter. But in reality, the world just pays attention to fads and gimmicks while our truth is imprisoned in a 200-year-old journal system that slows human progress, robs us of impact, and charges us for the privilege. Every single APA article. This article is intended solely for the individual user and is not to be disseminated broadly. Our distribution system doesn't want distribution. That's insane. <laughs> look at the user experience. This is Sally. Sally has a workplace turnover problem. She's going to try to ignore the fads and solve it with science. Ready? Here she goes. First, whack, it's the ignorance wall. Where do I even go to look for science? Then whack, it's the paywall. It's $35 an article. Then whack, it's the old design wall. She can't read articles on her mobile phone. Everything is in black and white. She can't even click a link to get from one article to another. Can you really blame Sally for choosing the facts? If something is hard to use, people just don't use it as much. So let's burn down these walls. First, if you work for a grant agency, include this sentence in your next contract. In order to use the money from this grant, you must agree to publish resulting studies in open access journals. You could change the world with this sentence. But even if we make all science free, we'll still have this wild west of open access journals. This is too hard to organize. Stop thinking in journals. Stop thinking in pieces of paper. Let's have one central digital distribution system for all of science. Call it Google Science. <laughs> You submit your paper directly to Google Science and it's published in 30 seconds, not two years. Then, we all peer review this article on novelty, on methods, on practical value, on reliability of the findings. These ratings can change when new methods come out or when studies are replicated. This is such a clear way to communicate quality than just the name of the journal. And when you search Google Science on something like work engagement, you don't just get a list of articles. You get all the definitions of work engagement. You can download measures. You get the top predictors, the top outcomes, the best review papers. It's all right here for you. An interface like this would make a two-minute lit review possible. And when you click an article, it can be beautiful. It can include color, interactive graphs, sortable tables, and links. Do you know how much time links would save? And it, can, it can reflow onto mobile devices perfectly so that when a cancer researcher is standing in line at Starbucks and gets an idea, she can check it out real quick. And centralizing makes it easy for our developers to create apps. Like imagine an app that summarizes just the best practices on any topic. Or one that makes it easy for researchers to compare theoretical models. Or one that's, that creates an interactive map of everything we know about a topic. Like this map, uh, Parkinson's disease. Tools like these make it easier to zoom out and see the puzzle from the pieces. And that makes it easier to get insight. Makes it easier for us to make work more fulfilling. Makes it easier to cure chronic diseases. When we make science user-friendly, we make it easier for the world to fall in love with science and for us to do it better. In the meantime, publish your next article in an open access journal. Open access articles actually get more citations because people can read it. 